Stop wasting time. Watching YouTube videos can be a great way to gain knowledge, but no amount of these videos can make the results happen for you. Greatness is achieved in the real world. So in this video, I will attempt to inspire you to shut off your phone or computer and do something productive in the real world instead. I am not saying to never watch another YouTube video again, but taking action in real life is the only way to truly turn your life around. But I'm sure that you are already very well aware of this. Maybe you just don't know what sort of action to take. Listen, brother, you do not need to be working on a business in order to be considered productive. We all start out small, and before you can take the big leaps, you need to train yourself in the habit of being productive and taking responsibility. Therefore, in this video, I will provide you with seven productive activities that you can start to do at the very moment you are done watching this video. And please, try to actually follow through and take action instead of doing what you always do, which is to continue watching the next video. Habits like these are hard to break, but one thing is certain, you must take action at some point in order to change it. And the best time to take action is always right now. So make a promise to yourself right now that when this video is finished, you will take action and you will do one of these productive activities. Oh, and since you're here anyway, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, man. You're a stud. Now, let's get into it. Activity number one. Organize your space. If you are sitting in your room, being bored and restless, one thing that you can always do is to start cleaning. A messy environment is a messy mind. And if one thing is true about successful people, it is that they find a way to stay organized. Becoming successful requires you to be effective. And to be effective, you must be organized. So you can start to make it a habit to always keep your space clean and organized. Take a good look around. Do you have some things that you never use and so they are just taking up space and cluttering your environment? Then get rid of them. There is truly a sense of relief by not owning any more than you actually need. Personally, I go over all my belongings every few months to see if there is something I can live without and then proceed to discard it. So if there is nothing else to do, start cleaning. Activity number two, create a to-do list. Remember how we just talked about being organized? Well, this is another aspect of that. If you often find yourself struggling to know how to get started on bigger projects and feeling overwhelmed, it may be because you don't have a specific plan that is ready to execute. Then you get trapped in a never ending loop of overthinking and never actually get down to action. If this sounds like you, I want you to ask yourself what you actually want to achieve and then sit down with a cup of coffee and make a complete to-do list of the actions you need to take in order to get there and write it down with pen and paper. Shut off your computer. Shut off your phone. If you try to write the list on one of these devices, it will be far too easy to get distracted. Maybe even go to a different location than your home and leave your phone at home. This allows you to be alone with your thoughts without getting distracted, which is actually another powerful habit of successful people. Activity number three, learn something. Okay, listen, I may or may not sound like I am contradicting myself on this one. What I mean is that I thus far, I have told you repeatedly to shut off your phone and computer. But when you want to learn something in most cases, you are going to be making use of the internet, which is great. If you can find something that you want to learn, a skill, a business model, a new way of training. And if you can truly dedicate yourself to learning about this, then by all means, use the internet, lose yourself in the process of learning and be 100% focused. But first, ask yourself if you really believe that you are able to reject all the distractions and be brutally honest with yourself. I can say with a certain degree of conviction that a significant portion of you will not be able to resist the temptations. If that is you, you will be better served to do one of the other activities in order to cultivate your own self-discipline. Because if you lack discipline, you will never be able to start a successful business, for example. So practice discipline first, then everything else becomes easy. Activity number four, exercise. This is probably the one you have all been waiting for. 
and that is for good reason. No list of productive activities would be complete without mentioning exercise. In fact, I would say that exercising is the most important habit anyone can have, period. If you do not have your health, you really do not have anything. You could have all the money in the world, but what good would it be if you were in the worst shape of your life? Your mental health and overall well-being is directly linked to your physical fitness. So if you are unhappy and also in bad shape, I can tell you exactly what to do about it right now. Hit the gym and keep hitting the gym. Or go for a run. Or go mountain biking. Just use your body to move. If you want to become a better version of yourself, a valid argument to avoid exercising simply does not exist. Activity number five. Connect with someone. This one, you need to take with a grain of salt. If you have embarked on the long, brutal journey of self-improvement, you know that one of the most painful yet important aspects is to cut ties with people who drag you down or influence you in a negative way. But with that said, when it all comes down to what it is, then it is the relationships we have with other people that truly gives meaning to life. It is often preached by various gurus, including myself, that in order to become successful, you must do it alone and work hard in solitude. While this is true, it is never completely black and white. I mean, no matter how brutal you are, you cannot become a high value man by completely isolating yourself for years on end. You might make a lot of money, but you will most likely become socially retarded. And as we know, social skills are extremely important, not only for living a meaningful life, but also for your business and career. So, give a call to your father or your mother, maybe go visit them for dinner, if you haven't seen them in a while. Check up that old friend of yours, that you lost contact with for some unclear reason. Maintaining healthy relationships in your life is a bulletproof way to make life worth living, and it is never a waste of time. Activity number six, read a book. Just like working out, reading books is one of the habits that almost every successful person practices. And quite frankly, if the alternative is to scroll through social media, reading books is always a productive activity. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I have declared war upon short form content and other sources of instant pleasure that fries your reward system and kills your attention span. Reading books is the perfect antidote to this. It will increase your attention span. It will teach you patience and discipline as well as the art of focusing on one specific task for an extended period of time. And on top of that, it stimulates your brain and improves your cognitive function. And needless to say, you will also gain vast amounts of knowledge. There is literally nothing negative to say about this activity. So get started. By the way, if you want to ramp up your body's natural testosterone production to absolute max, you need to try out Testogen. Testogen is among the best, largest, and most trusted brands of testosterone boosters in the world. I've used it myself for a long time, and guess what? I approve. So if you want your natural T-levels to skyrocket, I'll leave a link in the description below. And yes, it's an affiliate link. So if you buy something, you also support this channel. So you get to boost your testosterone and support a hardworking YouTuber. Sounds like a win-win to me. But enough about that. Let's get on with the video. And finally, activity number seven, go to bed. Do not misunderstand me. If it is the middle of the day and you just happen to be watching YouTube videos right now, of course, you should not go to bed. But in today's world, there is a strong tendency among young people to stay up very late into the night, binge watching Netflix or YouTube videos or scrolling through social media. And I can only assume that this tendency also applies to my audience. Listen, brother, sacrificing your sleep and messing up your sleep schedule to consume social media content or play video games is one of the most destructive habits to your self-development. So if you find yourself watching this in the middle of the night and you are not doing anything productive, the best thing you can do is to go to bed so you can attack the day tomorrow. You can even take it one step further and combine it with activity number two and create a quick to-do list for the next day. Then, when you wake up, feeling refreshed and energized, you will know exactly what needs to be done. That's all I have for you today, brother. I hope you've become wiser. 
If you want to do a brother a solid favor, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks brother, I appreciate the love. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Now go, get off YouTube and go conquer something. Your manhood depends on it.